side of the ball, but I gotta ask you when when 15 goes down. That's what we do, baby. You know we do sack nation. Um, go ahead. What you're saying? We in this thing. AMC championship. They doubted us. We got the shark healthy. The shark is back, and we smell blood, baby. We smell blood. Who don't tell them? All right, we back. We back. All right, regroup, Frank. Regroup. When 15 goes down, that's likely the MVP of the league. What's going on on the sideline when you see him go to the locker room? What What are you all thinking? I mean, the obvious. I mean, our leader, um, Pat, you know, he's down. Last time we had seen that was Denver Broncos about two years ago when the whole stadium in Denver went quiet. And, I mean, you don't want to see that. For no quarterback, for no player, especially, you know, how sensitive the league has been on these type of things, you know. Um, Pat going down, you know, you don't want to see guys get hurt. You want to see guys compete at a high level but never get hurt. And um, so, you know, it touched us all. You know, we want the best for them. You know, we want them healthy as possible out there so they can help us win. And, um, you know, just knowing when we got back to the locker room, we could check on them. We knew everything was going to be all right. It wasn't as serious as, you know, we initially thought. Man, that's the best feeling we can have in the world right there, just knowing our teammate is healthy. And then Jacksonville makes it 17 to 20, and Pat comes down and throws a touchdown on one leg. What do you describe your quarterback in terms of toughness? Man, it's – um. You see, it's called grit, you know what I mean? It's called grit. You know, it's his determination to want to win no matter what the circumstances are, you know, and um, he continues to show that. For years he showed that. And, um, you know, I wouldn't want no other quarterback. I said it before, I'm going to continue to say it, and I'll die by it. And I wouldn't want no other quarterback leading my team and leading this locker room. Sack Nation, two of you guys talking. This is what you guys want to do in the postseason yeah. up front. You get a sack, two tackles for loss. What is clicking up front when both you guys are healthy and playing well? Uh, man, we running the show. Uh, we spoke about it before. You know, when you get to the time of the year, you know who, you know, at the end of the day, who these guys fear, who these guys are going to look at, and they're going to look at and be like, man, these guys are coming, you know, day in and day out. We put it down, though. We put the work in. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to come to us, um, you know, 10 times fold. You know, looking forward to the week ahead. Um, got a different challenge and, you know, short-term memory, like I always say. You know, got to watch this on the way and get ready for our opponent next week. So then real quick, who do you want to win tomorrow? Because if Cincinnati wins, you're playing the AFC Championship game here in Kansas City. I don't really give a damn. Bring them all. Frank, I know you're on the other side of the